Tuscaloosa for Alabama's final game in the Crimson Classic. And it's a rematch from last night's battle between the Alabama Crimson top three in the order as you'll find anywhere in America. Arizona. And Shockey, the freshman, after an 0 for 3 night on Friday, gets aboard with the leadoff single off of Jayla Torrance on her senior. 1 for 3 last night. And you see Shockey still at first, one down. What a pitch from Jayla Torrance to strike out the All Pac 12, Dakota Kim. And there, oh, that's a little late, and Scoopin's called safe. That was about to be a heck of a double play. Arizona strands a runner, and we're scoreless. Going to the bottom of the first here in Tuscaloosa. In this lineup, so not shocked to see her moving up, get her maybe even more at bat. Strong at 333 on the year, OBP at 538. It's Ali Skaggs, the gold glover, one down. Really good movement there from Ali Skaggs. Originally thought that was going to get in the 3-4. As this season hitting 414 with 22 ribbies. Got it. Two away. And Beal makes the catch to end the inning. We're through one. No runs up on the board yet. Arizona coming back up on the other. We talked to Coach Murphy before the game last night, and he said, you know, one of his favorite stories back in 2000 at the World Series, a reporter in Oklahoma. Tricky play, Kahalen, just in time. Two down here in the top of the second. And there you see Alabama head coach Patrick Murphy, 26 years. And if there's anything that's going to get you going, it might be two outs. A batter reached, and then the Jaguars had that RBI double. Torrance hoping that that doesn't occur here. Still scoreless in Tuscaloosa. Another battle between these two great programs. Fans of all ages. And it's right here to get a ranked win. No, check that. I thought our first base umpire had called an illegal pitch, but Always have to be as reached via the walk, and she's aboard with one out. Air late, and Giles had to motor in. Runners on the corners after Broadfoot attacks the first pitch. To run it first. without any run scoring. Here she is with the bases loaded once. Got her! Miranda Stoddard goes right at Larissa Pruitt. Three strikes in a row, out and then in, back out with this curveball. And we're still knotted up at zero, going to the third. All right, do you guys want to do a little swap? That was an extremely difficult play from Callie Hevlin. She's going to her backhand. Jasmine Paris Chica has so much speed. Good piece of hitting there by Dakota Kennedy to get her hands to that inside pitch. Just poking it out there in the outfield. Had been hitting 579 in the last five. And Jayla Torrance once again dances out of danger with the help of her defense. Incredible from the sophomore. What a play by Taylor Beal in the hole, going over and fielding that ball cleanly. We've seen some. You'll see very often from her. And a runner aboard for Alabama here in the third. That's the third time Arizona pitching has it. Again, just a nicely pitched at bat from Miranda Stoddard. Three pitches, gets the out. It's Chica in foul ground to end the inning. 
defense. She shows it off, but it's foul. And Mike Kendrea sitting with his old boss, Alabama Athletic Director Greg Byrne, who used to work over in Tucson at Arizona. Canned and Shep is quickly retired. And told by her former coach, Mike Candrea. Jayla Torrance using the off speed, completely fools Blaze Behringer. Giles has a big swing at Q. Solo homer, and Alabama's on the board in the fourth. Gray, you called it. What a swing from Marley Giles. She made. And then the hit finally come. But again, all the production we've seen between Alabama and Arizona has been home runs. Nobody has come through with runners on. The strikeout of Pruitt with the bases loaded when she came in. Giles gets Alabama on the board. Marley Giles strikes first in this game with an oppo taco bomb. I'm excited. Staying in that at bat, getting the ground ball out. But yeah, great. You could just tell she was so excited to talk about Allie. And good piece of hitting there by Taylor Beal. She's done well on the pitches up in the zone. Gets her hands on top of that one, sends it back up the middle, right on time. You'll see marks around 30 to 40 percent, which I consider fairly good. Arizona has answered back 18 out of 25 possible times, including will fire to second, and the lead runner is by the shortstop. Good heads up play by Kenley Cahalen to get the runner at second. You could tell she was thinking too. And the inning ends. A strikeout once again for Torrance. She's got three. And Alabama leads 1-0. For out number one. Impressive defense in the infield by Reagan Shockey coming in, fielding a ground ball, and making a really good throw over to first. That's, and she continues to look sharp in relief. Two down. That's always really A step in front of the warning track to retire the side. Through five, Alabama one, Arizona zero here in Tuscaloosa. First time the first batter of the inning has reached since the first. We talked about how Carly Scoopin was due. Arizona. Ailey Johnson struggling with control early in her appearance here. Curveball. One down. Great response by Ailey Johnson. Throws two hard pitches. First two on. Has two unproductive outs. It's the spin of Ailey Johnson. She's could have went either way, but she comes back and gets a strike. And Arizona misses a great chance. Bama will look for insurance when we return. Really going to separate themselves at the top of this conference, but see that list. And even still, we've watched a couple stunners fly by today. Even right now, Arkansas Trail, South Dakota State, six, second in the team in RBIs. The Cali Hevlin has been using the small ball, and she stands on second. With one out. Can they find the insurance here in the sixth? You see the numbers today. Both teams offer with runners in scoring position. Both teams offer hands on third. Three thirty-three with runners in scoring position. In the inning. Alabama misses a chance for more. Last chance for Arizona. Going to the seventh in Tuscaloosa. That change up just continued. A lot of traffic, but Emma Broadfoot gets a huge first out to retire the All-American. 
did have that double last night against Beaver. Taylor Beal stung this ball, gets her barrel to it, and it takes a little bit of a bad... Oh, Gray. Are we going to see a review? Surely this won't happen again. With the Arizona Wildcats, goes the way of the Crimson Tide. And Alabama has another ranked win here in two matchups between Arizona and Alabama. But Marley Giles put a good swing on one and put it over the right field wall. And that's the thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time, everybody.